One of the many reasons why so many people got into developing and having the websites done with WordPress was it because it allowed them to create templates. And I always say that templates are not the best way to go around with building your website unless they are your own. What's going on guys? My name is Leopoldo Perella and I do videos about web design, UX design and the overall design process. And on today's video I'm going to be talking to you about being able to create your own template on WordPress without having to code anything so that your entire website can have a consistent look and as you grow it you will continue to keep this consistent look throughout your website. So if you're interested, stay tuned. One of the reasons, as I mentioned before, why you may want to have a template on your website is to make it easier for you to be able to add new content to your website. An example of this is creating a template for your blog layout. You want to just be able to add your content and let the entire website um, take the shape of your template. Another thing that you may want to do is, for example, if you want to have your very own customized footer, your own customized navigation, or different pages that you know are going to take a consistent look, um, it will, or like let's say like internal pages that may take a consistent look, then you want to create templates for this because it will make it a lot easier for you. The problem was that maybe about last year or two years ago, to be able to do anything like this, you needed to know a lot of coding to be able to do this with WordPress. So the alternative for this was to go into ThemeForce or to go into any other marketplace and buy templates. And then what you will do is that you will take these templates and sell them as in WordPress and sort of customize them to fit your needs with your logos, your colors and all that. However, the problem with these templates is that they're not meant for one specific business or to help you achieve a specific goal. So what happens is that all these websites are now looking the same. That's sort of how you can tell that it's a WordPress website from apart from anything else because they all have the consistent look. And when you go to the back end and you look at the themes that they've been built with, you will realize most of them are using, I think it's about 10 different themes that most people have used to build their websites. And it's nothing wrong with that and depending on different budgets and whatnot, a, th a theme or a template should be used. But you always want to make sure that your website stands apart from everyone else and that your website looks different and is remarkable and people will always remember it. And one of the best ways to do this is by creating your own designs. And now with DV by Elegant Themes, you can create your own templates to make sure that everything on your website looks the same way. So now I, I want to show you how to do this so you can start creating your own templates um, using DV. But before I go into it, um, before I, and before I jump into my computer, I just want to remind you that they're having an amazing Black Friday sale. Um, I think they're going to have up to 50% um, discounts. So if you're interested in buying like a life license for DV or any of the other things that they have now in the marketplace, that will be a great time for you to save some money while getting all the tools that you need. So I'm going to add a link below where you can click it so it reminds you about the Black um, Friday sale. So you can, um, as I said before, save some bucks and get all the tools that you need. So now let's go into the computer so I can show you how we created our block layout and how we're using DV to be able to create different templates for our entire website. So the first thing that you need when you're building a um, template for your own website, you're going to need to install DV as the main framework or as the main theme for your website. And one of the things I recommend the most is to also install a child theme for your website. The reason why you want to do this is that you want to make sure that DV as a framework can always be up to date without changing any of the work you have done on your CSS or any JavaScript or anything that you have added on your website. Another option for this is that you want to create DV or the website that you're creating, you want it to be yours. So you want to make sure that all the documentation about the child thing that you're creating belongs to you, the developer or the designer. So once you have done that, one of the things that we can do is that I'm going to show you here first how we did the blog layout. So this is for our parent company and it's for LNS company group. And one of the things that we wanted to do here was to sort of outline the title of the blog post 
and then have our social media sharing options and then have the person who wrote the blog on the left side as well as the date that this blog was released and then all the content from the blog post followed by similar content or similar blog posts that we wanted to have someone click so that they didn't have to leave the website or go to another page to be able to find more content and then we also wanted to have a customized footer because if you have follow anything that I talk sometimes about web when we are working with like the story brand framework we want to make sure that the footer of the page is customized for a specific links that are not as important so they don't belong like throughout the entire website but they need to be there because you as the user or one of your clients might need to use some of these links to be able to accomplish another task so once we sort of created the layout on adobe xd and i'm just showing you here on the web because we have already completed it we went over to our wordpress dashboard and what we did is that we went on dv and then they have this is sort of came from an update sometime this year where they have um, something called a theme builder and if you click it builder pretty much what it does is that it gives you like a fully blank canvas so you don't have anything any headers any footers or anything like that on your website and this allows you to build everything from scratch i'm talking about building the navigation for your website building the different um footer for the page if you have different block categories you are able to create different templates for each of these categories so now that you have you can see here on my screen i have um, our global footer on all pages because i want that to be consistent throughout every page but if you head over and see here where we have all posts that will be the template that we are creating for any time we have to uh, post a new blog post we pretty much just add it to our post and it should take this layout that we have built here so as always you start from the top of your page so let's start with the header so as you can see here we pretty much just um, created a section of our on our page and then we gave it um, you know the different columns that we wanted for the header to show so we know that our logo was smaller so we want to have that on the left side and we wanted to keep the menu on the right side another great thing about this is that if you have different menus let's say you have a page that may have a different menu from your home page you are able to create all that and i will show you how just now but right here you can um, choose menu that you want on this website we only have one but if you were to have multiple menus on your website you should you will be able to choose the one that you want to use and then as always you know you always click your three dots and click save i'm just going to um so then we wanted to create the body of the template how we wanted it things to be laid out so we went ahead and we created a custom body for the website so as you can see here pretty much what we did is that we create we took dynamic content from the website that we're going the content that we have created or our blog post and we are using that to sort of create a template for our blog layout so as you can see here we have the um, dynamic post title and it's really easy to get this kind of stuff you just have to click um, a text module and then you click here where it looks like um, where it sort of looks like a, data, a little database with a plus sign and then here you have the different um, dynamic content that you can pull from your WordPress website. So since we're trying to do the title, we want post and archive title. You click it. And then what it will do is that it will tell you if you want to add anything before and after it. And since it's always, um, we know that that's going to be the main title of the blog post. We want to give it a H1. And you have to make sure that you close the H1 here. And if there's any other content that you may want to add to it um, by any reasons, you can go ahead and also add it here. And then once you click save, what it will do is that it will pretty much take any blog post title that you have created or you're going to be continuing to create and will take that and place it right here where you have dynamic content. And it's pretty much the same thing for you know the author of the blog post when it was created. And then we do the same thing with the post content. So pretty much it will just take everything from the blog post and add it here. And you can edit your um, different um, title tags. So if you have a H2 
and you know on your design you have the HD secondary titles looking a specific way then you go ahead and customize that here same thing with your paragraph same thing with anything that you're going to be template creating a template of for your entire website and you can even add different elements with like how we added here for example that um, it shows different blog posts on our website so people don't have to leave the blog page to be able to see other ones you can create anything pretty much you want with this as I said before it's a blank canvas so you do as you template as a design you create it you can go ahead and create it right here even add like custom animations to the way your blog post will show and all that the next thing I want to show you, um, because when we are creating templates for a website, we have to create templates for maybe specific pages. We also have to create templates for different categories and different things like that. So if you go ahead and you look at um, add new template, you're going to see all these different um, options that you have. So you can create a template for all pages. This is pretty much like you know, maybe your global footer and your global um, navigation. You can create one for your home page. So if for some reason your home page needs to look different, you do not longer have to go ahead and create a whole different or code, a whole different page to make this page look different or use the blank default um, template. You can go ahead here and click home page and you will be able to create one like a template just for your home page. And you can also do for the specific pages and this is really important because if you have a landing page that you want to put out there to generate more leads or something like that you may want this to look different while keeping certain elements maybe similar so you can go ahead and create um, templates for all these pages um, you can create templates even for your products if you're using something like WooCommerce and you need to put your products out there you can go ahead and um, create your products right there your and then here's where it gets like if you want to create a post template so you need to go ahead and you create all post templates but let's say that you do have some um, but let's say that you have a category on your blog's post that is going to be quite different from you know the average just words that you're writing and you want to create something that's more um, dynamic that's something that you probably have more content like on the right side on the left side or anything like that that's where you come here, post, um, and you click on post with a specific categories. And once you give it the category that you want, you're able to customize the template for that one in a specific right there. And then the one that I think is really important is the one that says um, a specific category pages. And the reason why I think this is important is because normally when people see a blog post um, built with DB or a blog page with all the different blog posts it looks a certain way but then when they click a category it brings them back to the default um, DV blog post layout and it's a bit weird because it takes the user or confuses them of where they are on the same website or did they just went somewhere else so when you choose a specific category pages you are going to be able to recreate this layout for all the different category pages so for example for us if someone clicks on web design and then someone clicks on social media design or someone clicks on web development all these different categories in the search option should look the same way and what I like about this is that once you created one um, it's very easy for you to then go ahead and duplicate it so let's say you created one for all posts as I have it here but then you want to be able to you know keep the custom header and keep the global footer and maybe some other elements and you don't want to redo the whole thing you can just go here and click duplicate and then assign it to whatever um, category to whatever page you want or to whatever elements you want that you have built with or that you have built on your website so that you do not longer have to recreate the entire thing you are just going to be changing certain elements from the templates that you have already created so I hope you found this content helpful. Um, it has really been helpful to be able to create templates like this, not just for us because it had speed up the process of this developing a website on WordPress quite a lot and given us the ability to be able to create our own custom templates, which I think is really important. But it also allows the clients when they have to edit the website to know that you know things have already been pre-built for them. Um, they also know that it is their own custom template, so it's not like they are going to log in into another website or check out another website and the website will look just like their own 
and then whenever they have to edit anything on it because everything has already been created they know like for example if they had to add a blog post it's just to go ahead and click add new blog post throw their content there and then the entire website will do the design for them so they don't no longer have to worry about that and it really helps to give that confidence to your client to be able to edit and since you have everything organized in this um, team builder framework you will be able to grow your website a lot faster and without worrying about if you have to rebuild something new all the time. So before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so whenever I post another video, I get um, you get a notification and I will see